Well, friends, you've got to understand that I come from a generation to where kids were seen but not heard. You never spoke out of place, and you wouldn't dare ever sash one of your elders. Now, I never did know my grandfather. They was gone before I was born. But my two grandmothers and my eight uncles more than made up for it on these stories. They told me so many stories growing up. I tried to remember and wished I could record more of them. But anyway, these eight uncles, they were military men. Some were, some were coal miners and some were both. And they loved the outdoors. And I spent as much time with them as I could as a young man. So I'm going to share one of these little stories of my uncle Tony of a coon hunting trip, a weird coon hunting trip in southeast Kentucky. Now my uncle, they were just old Appalachian mountain men, loved outdoors, roughing it. And they done a lot of this way before I even come into this world. But I loved being with them. They loved to stay on the lake, rivers, hunting, fishing. And when I got old enough, I'd stay with them some. We'd run trout line in the river. Loved that. Loved to learn all my stuff from my elders, and especially their stories. My dad and my uncles, I loved to squirrel hunt better than anything as a young man. And they loved dogs. And they loved to shoot. They loved to hunt game. They were just old rugged country people in these mountains. And they loved dogs too. Hunting of all types. They really took their pride in it. Now back in them days, people took pride in these coon dogs. Not like it is today. It still goes on, but nothing like it was back then. They really took pride who had the best dogs and all that stuff. Well, anyway, one of my uncles told me he went up in southeast Kentucky up towards Harlan along Cumberland River. Don't know exactly where, but they headed up there late one evening with a guy called Sam and George. They headed up the old country road there. George knowed something about the country. They thought they'd try a different place that uh, maybe they hadn't been coon hunting and wore it out so bad. But they didn't really know the area that good, just what they've heard from their friends. They parked that old truck there at the valley at the, where the three forks of the river creeks come together down to the river. But they didn't know that it was a graveyard, just a ridge over on the forks of one of them roads, just a ridge over, a holler over. They didn't know it at the time. And it was getting late in the evening. I got the old dogs out of the truck, got them all fasted up, set up. They didn't have no training collars in them days, so it was just dogs and you go by here. Well, they headed off back in these old ridges, these old mountain ridges along the river, and it wasn't long, the old brownie treed one. They could hear way off in the distance. And they eased their way down there to her and pulled her off of that one. They was just training her dogs just for something to do. Well, it wasn't long and old storm started rolling up there just out of dark after they got old Brownie off that tree. They could hear it thunder. And it wasn't long, it come a bad old storm up there down the mountain ridges. And them old mountain storms rolled in there. So they hunkered down up under an old pine thick, he said. And they got soaking wet the best they can do. That's just the way it is in them old late summer storms in these mountains. It's even worse when you're on the lake. Well, he said it finally died down there. It wasn't long it cleared off there, and it was a full moon that night. It was beautiful. You could hear the whippoorwill. Just a beautiful night, but they was soaking wet. Well, they headed, trying to find their dogs. Where'd they get to? Where'd they go? They eased up through there. Now, all they had is old carbide lights that you use in the mine. They barely will see ten foot in front of you. Nothing like the lights of today. The These things were dim. 
You had to be right on something to see anything. Well, they headed up a ridge there. It's kind of, the moon shining good. They could see the top of the ridge, so they hit over that little holler ridge right there. So they could find their dog. Well, they eased up that old ridge. Working their way up. It was rough, too, in that brush. You see it? Well, they finally got up top of that ridge there, and it opened up a little bit. There was a graveyard. Well, they looked around, hollering them dogs. Here, Brownie. Here, Brownie. Where you at? Well, they kept hearing something moaning. Moaning. That, well, that ain't no dog. What is that? Well, one said, look there. Look there. What's that? Something just appeared out of the woods there. My goodness. My uncle said, What in the world do you figure that is? Looks like a woman in white hovering off the ground, come out of the wood. And you can see the tombstone come through her, like she was glowing. What? Well, the more they watched, the more scared they got. It just faded away, he said. Well, they was really. Uncle said he turned back and said, George, Sam, what is that? Well, they didn't answer him. He looked back and they was gone. They were running down that little road there. Well, he took off running too. Now, what in the world is going on? Well, it didn't run a hundred yards where that forks of the roads come together, them hollers. There was their truck. And the dogs was there too, waiting on them. Well, how, how convenient. So they all, they all loaded up and said, we're getting out of here. They could, never did go back to that place. He still to this day said, we never went back to that place. Said, Don't know what that was and didn't want to know. Now, that's one thing about my uncles. They wasn't scared of nothing, being an old ex-Marine. But things they can't explain like this, they didn't want to fool with. So this is just another little story of these old mountains. I hope you enjoyed God bless every one of you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.